<laughs> YouTube family, what one? Maverick in the space again, you know. Yeah, and you know, say politics is not come up, but you know, me not, a long time I put on me in church, so me just decide to dry it out today. You understand me? <laughs> so, don't make the color of my shirt this track if I'm going to talk about. All right, so you yeah, want now, people, may I talk to one of me? University professor bridging the other day. I may ask him a question. You didn't want the actual numbers. Cause we are here the argument long time, you know. About the disparity between boys and girls where enroll and have graduated from the University of the West Indies. And he give me some numbers. He said the enrollment figure is 70 to 30. So out of every hundred students, 70 of them are, are, are female and 30 of them are male. The graduation figures now is 75% female and 25% male. That are the percentage of graduates that now, you know. So me I think about it now and I say, wow, me here a long time say more women are get themselves educated and upgraded than male in the society a long time, you know. But me never know see the disparity that wide. And also you now, me now decide now to go for some international numbers. Perceive the phenomenon of Jamaican women being better educated than Jamaican men is a worldwide phenomenon or is a specific Jamaican thing. Now, we find some, some numbers from the USA. And I think this figure go up to like 2022. 39% of women in the USA have college or university degrees. 36.2% of the men in the USA have the equivalent. So you, you see, basically, it's just about a two-point gap between the amount of women we have degree in America and the amount of men we have degree in America. In Jamaica, this figure now again up to about 2022. 9.8% of men who are gainfully employed. We don't talk people who do their own business, you know. But men who are employed, 9.8% of them in Jamaica have degrees. You are here the figure for women? 21.3% of women who are gainfully employed, not independent operators are people where we have their own business. Self-employed people. People who are gainfully employed. 21.3% of the women in other position there have degrees. So you see, it's almost double in a Jamaica the amount of Woman we are work with degree and the amount of man we are work with degree. Don't move say that for big up the Jamaican women, you know. Yeah. We talk a of bad things about them all the while. We say them promiscuous, them give up bun, them give up jacket, them love money, them materialistic. Every day we spout them negative about the Jamaican women. I know we personally, but we hear them negative then. We hear them in the music. And some of them are true. Some of them are the reality. But he who is without fault cast the first stone. Nobody is perfect. I mean, I look on the upside of the Jamaican woman this trip. Jamaican women are much more ambitious, forward thinking, and hardworking and focused than Jamaican men. And the statistics show you that. If people were willing to better themselves educationally, is an index we go by. And just living in a Jamaica. You can feel it, you know, you see it, you know. The Jamaican woman, they're much more ambitious. They are much more driven. And this has to do with more with the, the modern Jamaican woman, where in the modern world, where the, where the rules basically are not defined and confined anymore. So women can go, they go work, no one do some things before where men never used to allow them to do, where that man control the world and the narrative. So we have to big up the Jamaican woman, them, in other regard. They deserve all the kudos because they're not sitting down and they're not waiting for no man again. They go, they go educate themselves. They make themselves them, them money independent of the Jamaican man. They may operate and they may live them life independent of the man. And kudos, only for kudos, goes out to the Jamaican woman as a black. Obviously, you're going to have the ad individual here and there with what list. You're going to have that everywhere. Same like how you're going to have the odd black or the odd individual ambitious Jamaican man where driven and get himself educated. 
You have exceptions to the rule, you know. What we are talking about are the general trend. And the general trend, as it has been in recent years, is for the Jamaican woman to become the more ambitious, focused, and successful individual in the Jamaican nuclear family. And that's one. You see, the independent party, it means a woman not take foolishness from man no more. And they set the terms, even in their relationship, you know. And that, not for the man, they must struggle to contend with it, you know. Not for the man, they will grow up in a controlling culture. Where a man are the boss, and a man control woman, and a man supposed to do this, and a man supposed to do that. Not for them must struggle to deal with the new reality, you know. Of that ambitious, independent woman, you know. Me not have them struggles there. Come and understand them something. Me understand the dynamic of them something. When you grow up with remnants of that traditional thinking in your, in your still, you know, it kind of hard to wrestle yourself to the position where you accept what the women are doing, you know. And you just accept your role in a changing society. But I'm not a one, you know. I'm here telling you, it is, as me point out, you know, the disparity in the numbers shows that in a Jamaica is an international trend, you know. But in a Jamaica, the curve is even steeper. Meaning, more Jamaican women are advancing themselves educationally and professionally and financially compared to the Jamaican men. The gap is widening. Most of the men have resort to some illicit activity and uh, rub out them and mingle and in a crime and say they're a chopper. And who no, no say they're a chopper, say they're an artist, they're a singer and they're a DJ. The woman them quietly and go about themselves. And for them women, you know, we are advanced themselves educationally, you know. A woman them we are work all them nine to five job and all them something, you know. No for them a woman we are we are independent business operators, you know. And yet still that they are driven enough and them have the ambition enough to still go there and certify themselves. We are say kudos to the Jamaican women them. The Africa pick up a positive aspect of Jamaica this time around. We don't care cause me say I'm a, me, me, I'm a negativist. Because of the positive me I pick out. Jamaican women them are the boss right now. Yeah? No one is perfect and they might do their role because if you ask me, there are certain rules that women can't fulfill, you know. Women can't be fathers to children, you know. So if you're going to blame them, if you're going to find them deficient for fathering them children, we can go down the unfair line there. But by and large, women were not made to be fathers. A father is supposed to be father. So we see some people all have beat up the woman them because no for them a grow up the youth them no one some of the youth them get delinquent and, and, and a behave antisocially. No, you can't blame the, the woman for that. Blame the absent fathers for that. How the Mavericks? The, the Mavericks sound like a woman defender this trip. We feel like there's something that needs to be done and something that needs to be said. Big up the woman them in Jamaica. Right now. Can them a lead. They must set the trend and them a lead and them now wait for no man again. Yeah? In a every facet of life, you know. If you go corporate, if you go business, if you go sport, if you go entertainment, the woman them get more, much more assertive, get more independent, their voices are being heard, and they are making a success of themselves at a higher rate than you know, for the worthless man them are doing. Yeah, get to the reality. Mavericks himself as a ultra alpha male, you know. But we understand the reality we are going here. We understand it. Yeah, maybe we can blame culture and how we were cultured for some of the, the behavior we are going with the man, you know. But at the same time, the women are still smart enough as a block to realize, say, look here, nothing, no adversity, I will stop my personal advancement and my personal ambition. So the Africa say, Meh! to all of the Jamaican girls, them out. big up on yourself and the women as well. Big up on yourself. Continue doing what you're doing. Yeah. Me have to something still I appeal to the man them. Now Jamaica still fish. Me don't know. Yeah, but the woman them I make me look bad right now. But I say me feel shame. But me understand it. Well, me almost feel shame still, but you don't know. Anyway, big up the